Did you know that Hawkeye first appeared as a villain in the Marvel comics? No? Then let's find out in today's video. What's up, Nadia? This is Abhishek Nakhte and I welcome you to the Dove Comics Project, where we dub comic book issues which have been inspired. Hollywood filmmakers and TV producers to create superhero movies and TV shows based on our beloved superhero characters and their storylines. Just like Iron Man was responsible for introducing several Marvel characters into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he did the same thing into the comics. That's why even Hawkeye was introduced in an Iron Man comic in the year 1964. So without further ado, let's start our today's video. But before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel and if you like our way of explaining comic book issues, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and keep us motivated. Tales of Suspense featuring the power of Iron Man. How can one man with a strange bow and arrow harm Iron Man? Don't try to answer till you have seen the sensational Hawkeye. Iron Man faces the fantastic threat of Hawkeye, the marksman. Look out, fella. You're not allowed to take car showers in company time. Written by Stan Lee. Illustrated by Don Heck. Lettered by S. Rosen. You'll be alright now, Parker. Next time be careful where you stop to tie your shoelace. I sure will, Iron Man. Boy, I'm glad Mr. Stark has you on the payroll. Hey, Iron Man. Got a minute? What can I do for you, Happy? Something wrong in the front office? Nah, this is personal. You're pretty chummy with Mr. Stark. How about asking him to put in a good word with Pepper for me? She hasn't given me a date in weeks. I should have feel so jealous when Happy tries to date Pepper. After all, I don't dare get serious about her. A man like me, whose life depends on a transistor power chess device, keeping his injured heart beating, can't very well allow romance to enter his life. Pepper, I have something to ask you. It's about a date. A date? You asked me for a date and I say yes. Now let's see. What will I wear? But I was speaking for Happy. Excuse me boss. I uh, didn't mean to um, interrupt. Happy! I don't dare trust myself to take her to any place more romantic than this. Hurry! 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 Step right up folks. See Hawkeye. The wonder of the age. The world's greatest marksman. This is perfect. At least it will keep her from suggesting a ride in the tunnel of love. Help! Get us down from here! Flying pinwheel is out of control. We can't stop it. Why doesn't somebody do something? If that thing ever breaks apart? This is terrible. Nobody can stop it in time. Pepper, excuse me for a minute. I've got to call the factory. At a time like this? Help! The gears are shattering. I'm glad I brought my special attache case with me from the office. I was able to change to Iron Man in seconds. And now, I've got to find a way to stop that machine, alone and unaided. I'll put the full power of my armored body against the flying pinwheel. Ugh. Can't hold much longer. This has to do it. Iron Man did it. He prevented a disaster. But how did he get here so quickly? Uh-oh. I'll have to think of an answer to that one first. I know. I'll tell Pepper I went to find Iron Man. I'll say he had orders to follow us to Coney Island. She'll believe it. Most everybody thinks Iron Man always tags along behind me anyway. I am the greatest marksman the world has ever known. And yet, they ignore me. Hmm? Why can't I do all the things Iron Man can do? All it takes are a lot of mechanical gimmicks and a colorful costume disguise. I'll make myself a costume. That no one will be able to forget. But a costume is only a part of it. Only weapons. And what better weapons than my infallible arrows. Each with a specially fitted tip of its own. Ne never again will people sneer at my performance. And now, like most heroes choose to wear a mask, how can we do the same? So, let Iron Man and every costume adventurer look to his laurels. For Hawkeye is about to make them all look sick. Although I possess no superpowers other than my unfalling accuracy at target shooting, I can do whatever others can do by means of my arrows. For instance, if I should want to fly to that rooftop, 
I suction tip arrow sticks to the exact spot I aim for and then my spin puller device wakes me towards the arrow tip in just seconds. What's the thrill? I feel as though the destiny of the entire city below me is in my powerful hands. This is almost good to be true. Right below me, that fling fool just robbed the jewelry store. I can't stop him with my eyes closed. Ha! What a love of feet! A perfect shot, as always. Ha! Now to make capture and... What? He he's getting away! That's what I get for taking pins not to injure him? Well, I'll catch him with him in a minute. First, I'll just inspect what he dropped. No wonder he ran so fast. This is quite a haul. Diamonds, rubies. Don't move. We caught your partner and we have got you dead to rights. They think I have robbed the store. They'll never believe me I'm innocent. I'll have to run for it. Halt! In the name of the law. Look, he dropped the loot. You'd better pick it up before someone helps himself to it. That man, racing so swiftly, he might be what I'm looking for. Why run when you can ride? Shut the door behind you. <laughs> Look, lady, I... Wow. Lady, whoever you are, don't pinch me. This is one dream I don't ever want to wake up from. I assure you, my costumed friend, this is no dream. Follow me, Hawkeye. To the ends of the earth, gorgeous. It is fortunate that he is taken with my beauty. I will be able to twist him around my little finger. But he must not learn that I am really your red spy. This is some great lab you have got here. But you don't look like the scientist type to me. I am not. This equipment belongs to the one I rent this home from. But there are things here which will increase your own powers. My communist masters provided this estate for me, and now their investments shall really pay off. Hmm, I see what you mean. Some of the devices described in this book will make great weapons if fitted onto my arrows. For the angle, beautiful. Do you have any dragons you want to slay or what? In a way, yes. The famous Iron Man is a mortal enemy of mine. Any man who could defeat him would be a man I could learn to love. He is a good as beaten bear. But, one thing more, no harm must come to his employer, Tony Stark. So she's got a crush on Stark, eh? Well, I'll put a stop to that. Now! Bullseye! My silent suction tipped arrow will get me inside Stark's factory in seconds. This is almost too easy for Hawkeye the marksman. So far, so good. Now I'll start enough of a ruckus to bring Iron Man on the run. The door to the main part of the factory is locked and bolted. So I'll just show them that locks mean nothing to Hawkeye the marksman. That explosive arrowhead with the Black Widow help me rig up Voximan better than we thought. Stay behind me man. If there's any danger, I'll face it first. Here he comes. This is almost like some corny fairy tale. Once I have polished off the big bad Iron Man, I'll return to claim the fair damsel's hand. Wait, I'm here attacked with arrows. How can anyone expect to stop me with some mere vitamin? There's some sort of chemical on the suction tips. It has a resting action. My armor is stiffening. It's getting harder to move. Whoever is responsible has found a weak point. I can't fight rust. I've got to get away. Shoot my armor away for the stool rust to remove. Running won't help you, Iron Man. I know you're here somewhere. You can't escape Hawkeye, the marksman. So that's my mysterious attacker. Well, he gets the first round, but the fight isn't over yet. No one takes me by surprise. Twice. This is what I'm after. I'm glad I had the foresight to conceal duplicate suits of armor for myself in various parts of the factory. There's only one car on the road at this hour, racing away from my factory. That must be Hawkeye, heading towards the airport. Well, the first thing to do is stop his car. I had an intensified blast from my power rays just to think through it. It's him again. Can there be two iron men? I am all out of rusting fluid. But I have plenty of other kinds of arrows for him. One of the handiest weapons of all is my little magnetic repulsor. But my transistors won't power the repulsor bit forever. I've got to try a surprise attack on my own. I'll beat him somehow. I can feel the gorgeous black widow. First, I will fly out of his range of his arrow. Now, I'll set my flying chest for top speed and try a power dive. It won't work. He's faster than I thought. He's preparing to shoot a different type of arrow at me. But what kind is it? Now, 
I've got you. Storm nylon roll strands tangling me up. Can't repulse them in time. Ah. He broke free. What's he trying now? I've got to hit the pier with just enough force. I did it. I got into him. He's like an avenging tornado. Look out! Stop! What are you doing? Just trying to keep you from getting bored, Robin Hood. Oh no, you don't. You can't escape me from drowning. You have got too much explaining to do. I was to pick him up here after his victory. A victory which never took place. While he's unconscious, I'll go to his car and retrieve the pieces of other suit of armor. He is gone. Now is my chance to finish him off for good. Now, when he least expects it, I'll use my most potent arrow of all. The demolition blast warhead, which a black widow helped me to assemble. And now, farewell, Iron Man. Nothing can save you now. Oh! Hawkeye, save me! You! What have you done? She is still breathing. I can't let her die. Her boat is waiting. If I can just make it to a doctor with her before the fog rolls in. She has to live. She has to be mine. She is the only one I have ever loved. He's trying to escape in the fog, but he won't get far. There's no place he can flee to that I can't follow with my power jets. It's hard to be certain in the haze, but I seem to see a girl in the boat. She looks vaguely familiar, but it's so far away. Well, I had better take off after them. No, I can't. I almost forgot I'm at the age of the airport. I don't dare get airborne. I'll be a menace to the place. And so, the Ironclad Avenger returns to his factory on Long Island Sound, and in the privacy of his locked office, prepares to become wealthy, handsome Tony Stark again, never suspecting how close he has been to his former arc foe, Madame Natasha, better known as the beautiful but deadly Black Widow. Thus, one of the wealthiest men in the world slowly walks through the sand outside his world-famous weapons factory, not daring to confess his love to the girl he cares for, not knowing when the mechanical chess device he wears will fail, ending his life in an instant. I hope you enjoyed it like our last video, which featured Black Widow as a main villain. I'll link the video in the YouTube card and also down in the description below. So don't forget to check it out. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel to keep us motivated to bring new content to you guys. That's why to you. Lastly, if you want to remain up to date to the comic book industry, then don't forget to check out our other social media pages like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.